This tutorial will demonstrate the quantification of grayscale intensity underlying a certain set of features using MyPAR's image processor. So let's begin. We will work with a biomedical example today, a image of green cells. Now one particular activity that researchers like to do, especially in the biomedical field, is not only detect cells or count cells or measure their size, but also quantify the intensity within a certain cell. This could be the max intensity, it could be the mean intensity, uh, and the intensity can come from various channels of a color image. So MyPAR's flexible recipe architecture, along with its measurement capabilities, allows bio researchers full control over this type of quantification and streamlines its implementation. So here we have a recipe with or a, an image with cells that need detection so we can run the recipe that we've made for the detection. And there we have it. Now once your features are detected you can use either the measure features or color by measure tool to measure your desired intensities. If we look at the final step in the recipe where we have our cells optimally detected and we click measure features, you'll see that there is a section here uh, called based on companion. Now it's active because we do have a companion image set up but we only see the top uh, six options available, not the intensity mean or intensity standard deviation. And that's because the companion image that we have is a binary image, it's a black and white image, it's a, a selection image, not a grayscale image. In order for our intensity mean and intensity standard deviation measurements to be active, we need to have a grayscale image set up as our most recent companion image. So the easiest way to do this is just to take the image that you want to measure, the feature that has the features that you want to measure, and set that up as any, as any memory slot. You likely won't need these anymore uh, since your detection is done, so you can overwrite any existing slots. So we're going to take this into memory image 1, and then we just need to call whatever image it is that we want to draw the intensities from. Whatever image we want to effectively put underneath our selection image to measure intensities from. In this particular case, um, if we switch into grayscale mode over here, we can play around with different channel operations. This is the auto grayscale conversion from the color image. So this takes the color image and automatically turns it into a grayscale image with pixels from 0 to 255, but we can easily keep any of the other channels. So here is just the red channel from the color image, and here's the green channel, and here's the blue channel. It so happens in this case that the green channel really contains all of the information that we care about, and rather than use the auto conversion, even though it looks very similar to the green, uh, we can take the green channel so that we know that we are measuring only the intensities from the green channel, only the green values from these cells. If you were working with other images where you wanted to measure the blue intensities of the cells, you'd use the blue channel. If you had brown cells, like you often do in, in immunohistology work, um, choose whatever standard the industry goes by as to what type of color to measure. Maybe it's red plus brown minus green. We can, we can do that here. We can do arithmetic between channels. There's not much in that combination in this case, but there might be in whatever image you're working on. So this is sort of your playground just to figure out what channel you want to measure. I like to set it back to color for uh, overlay reference, but what we can now do is bring whatever channel operation you want to forward. If you were going to work with the auto uh, conversion, you can just call the original image. That is the, the auto conversion uh, into grayscale space. We are going to call a particular channel operation uh, of green or G. They both mean the same thing. So that's now called the green channel forward. And now this green channel needs to be our companion image when 
we run the measurements on our feature image. So let's bring our feature image forward now, call memory one. So now we can measure our feature image and our grayscale image to measure is our last companion image. So we'll take our feature image, we'll go to, um, we can do color by measure so that we can see the measurements and we'll generate intensity mean measurements. Now we have, for each feature, its mean intensity on a 0 to 255 scale based on the companion image, which again was the green channel image. Click in that cell, and now we have the cells. You can take the opacity down here. Colorized according to their average green intensity. We can see that this cell is clearly overall the brightest up at, at yellow with a intensity of 94 where our blue cells are down lower towards the minimum value. These are some of the darkest, these purple ones here down at a mean of 22. So that's measuring intensities from cells using the companion image slot. Hopefully you find this tool very useful in your research and please, as always, provide us any feedback you might have. Thank you all very much for your attention, and we'll see you in the next one.